Welcome back design students. In this video we're going to texture the sides of the house. In the last video when we finished we had textured the roof. Now I have hidden everything else in my scene. I can unhide everything by right clicking and selecting unhide all from the quad menu. Then I'm going to select the house itself. Right click and hide unselected. Now what we need to do here is select polygons to texture that face in the same direction or lie along the same axis not necessarily face in the same direction because these and these on the ends here are facing facing in opposite directions but they're lying on the same axis so let's start with the ends I'm going to select all of these and by the way it's better to use the select tool when you're just selecting polygons so I'm going to switch to it right here you can also use Q on your keyboard And while we're at it, let's get these inside the door frames as well and the window frames because they also lie along the same axis. Just the ones on the sides here. Okay, now we need to get an UVW map and this is right here and we need to make sure it's facing in the right direction right now it's not it is projected along the Z axis if we get the move tool we can see that these are along the X axis so let's try X and that looks good but this little mark on the UVW gizmo here tells us which way is up so right off the bat, we need to select the gizmo and rotate the map so that the little mark here is facing upward. And then we need to make the gizmo square because our texture is square. It's going to be square. Now that we've done that, let's create a new material. Get the material editor. Use a physical material, get a bitmap, and I'm going to use this one. Now, I'm going to use this one as well, and I'll explain what this is in just a minute. One other thing I need to explain to you as well is when you use a physical material, when you use this physical material, it is by default uh, shiny and smooth. Uh, so we need to fix that. Uh, the wood siding is not going to be shiny and smooth and so we need to make this reflections number here in the setting 0 and the roughness needs to be 1. We need to do that for all of our materials. Now this texture that I got from textures.com comes with what's called a normal map. And a normal map gives the texture depth. It uses the lighting to make it look like the texture is more 3D. So in order to use the normal map we need to come down here to the bump node and we need to drag off of here and go to general and we need to select normal bump and then we need to drag off of the normal node and select general bitmap and then select the normal map. Normal maps are always going to be colored like this. They're always going to be this sort of purple blue color. We've now applied or connected the normal map to the material. So now let's go ahead and apply this material to our object. And you can see that it looks pretty good. The tiling is probably a little bit off. So let's play with that. I think I'm going to play with the tiling in this way because I think I'll just leave it alone. Actually, let's try it. I think that looks pretty good. Now remember we can save ourselves some time and make sure that the tiling and everything is the same here as it is is the same all the way around this by copying this UVW map that we applied and then we're going to add an edit poly at the top of the stack go to polygon mode and now we're going to grab these polygons and 
And we're also going to grab the ones inside the door frame. Any polygons that lie along this axis. And then let's paste that map onto these polygons. Now it's facing in the wrong direction. It should be on the Y axis. No, the Z axis. There we go. And now it should match up exactly with this. And it does. You can see the seams right here. Let's put an edit poly at the top of the stack. And we still have this UVW map on the clipboard. And let's finish by doing the polygons that are facing up and down. And we can go ahead and paste that on there. It's still on the clipboard, as I said. Now these need to be on the X, uh, y axis, I guess, it's just the up and down axis. Let's take a look at that. And that looks pretty good. And let's finish with an edit poly at the top of the stack. And there you go. That's how you texture the house itself. Now you won't see the effect of the bump map until you put lights and lights in the scene and render it. You won't see it in the viewport unless you're using active shade. So when we come back in the next video, we will texture the floor. And I'll see you then.